This is Gabriel Austin, and here's what happened in Mississippi this week. The former Greenville High School teacher caught on video in September dragging a special needs student by her hair has been indicted by a Washington County grand jury. Linda Winters Johnson is being indicted for abuse of a vulnerable person. That charge carries a penalty of one year in jail and a possible fine up to $1,000 if convicted. Winters Johnson was fired following the release of the video. And earlier this week, Greenville Superintendent Leeson Taylor was also fired because of how he handled the situation. Winters Johnson's arraignment is scheduled for December 13th. The Mississippi Economic Council's Bicentennial Banner seems to be gaining popularity across Magnolia State. MEC debuted the banner at its annual Hobnob in October and is already being flown or planned to be flown in several locations. In Tupelo, it will fly at the new police headquarters at University of Mississippi and Delta State University, and Tupelo-based Bancor South is flying the banner at multiple Mississippi branches. Governor Phil Bryan is in Israel this week touting Mississippi's technological partnerships with the country and meeting with officials including Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In a Facebook post Thursday, Bryant talked about the shared interests of Mississippi and Israel and about the election of President-elect Donald Trump. Before his trip, Bryan was interviewed by the Jerusalem Post, where he said he felt like under the Obama administration, the United States wasn't showing enough support for Israel and that showing support for the Middle Eastern country is important for many voters in the American South. For more details on these stories and other headlines from across the state, visit MississippiToday.org.